So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Today's video is gonna be something that I filmed actually last, when was it? I think last Thursday. I went to Paul, no, it was last Tuesday because I went to Paul Bunyan on Thursday. So the footage you're getting ready to see was last week and today is uh, October the 11th. And uh, a few things here before I get started and show you guys that footage. The video you're gonna see is finishing up that really nice large cherry log that was yielding those 24 inch wide cherry boards. A really nice log. I finally got that cherry finished up though and we can move on to something else. I like cherry, but to be honest with you, I was getting tired of sawing it. I think we sawed up about 1500 board feet here in the past few weeks. So a few things here, friends, before we get started, I wanna say a big thank you to everybody who came out to the Paul Bunyan show to shake my hand and talk to me and dad and look at the sawmills. We had a really good time. This was the third year in a row I went to that show and it seems like the crowd over at the Woodmiser booth gets bigger and bigger every year. And I really appreciate you guys. I had a blast talking to you all about sawmills, about video making, and about stink buds. A lot of you guys are asking about stink buds. I got a kick out of that. So once again, thanks to everybody for coming out. We had a really good show and hopefully we can do it again next year. And another thing, I wanna say happy birthday to Rita Bond. Actually her birthday is today, but this video will not go out till tomorrow. So I'm a day late on this. She was hoping to come out to the Paul Bunyan show to meet me this year, but she fell ill. She sent her son, Jeff, out, a good longtime supporter of the channel. Got to talk to Jeff for a little bit, and I actually was able to FaceTime her, and I hope she's feeling better, and a big happy birthday to Rita. And if you guys don't care down in the comments, everybody wish Rita a happy birthday. She'll get a kick out of that. Hopefully next year, Rita, you can come out and see us. And one more thing here, guys, we'll get started. I forgot about this. So uh, I did get a little bit of footage at the Paul Bunyan show of the LT70. And the reason I want to show this to you guys is because I thought this was unique. Now this is Marty Parsons. He's at Woodmiser PA. He's the owner up there. Really good guy, really knows his sawmills. It's the first time I finally got to meet Marty, actually. I've talked to him for years on the phone. But he was running the 70 and he was doing something a little bit different on that 70 he was operating it from the other end. I thought that was pretty unique. I knew that my sawmill could do that. You could hit the operator control station on either end of the sawmill, but he was on the further side away from the operator side that I stand on. I know that sounds confusing. It'll make sense here in just a second, but he prefers sawing that way. That might be something I try here in a few weeks. I was pretty interested in what he was doing. So we're gonna look at Marty running that LT70. He was slabbing up a pretty nice cherry that had some challenges because it was kind of short. And then we'll get on today's video, which was what I said earlier, filmed last week. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you here in a minute. So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. I've been on the mower just about all day trying to get this place looking good before I head out of town tomorrow. Tomorrow's the uh, Paul Bunyan show. Actually, it's the day before. Me and Dad's gonna drive up tomorrow. The show's on Friday and Saturday, but you guys will be seeing this video 
probably a week or two later. And that brings up a good point. I've been getting a lot of questions in the past videos. Sometimes you'll see the air collector or the dust collector on the sawmill. In some videos you won't see it. And some people say sometimes I'll have this wound on my head, which is the uh, surgery for the, ten, uh, the, the skin cancer. I can't talk today. And then some people will say, what happened? You know, the last video, you had a bandage on your head and you got a dust collector. Now you don't have that. Well, here's the reason why. These videos are kind of out of order nowadays because I get kind of ahead on making them, which is good. Because used to in the past, I would make like a video, put it out, a video, put it out. And I couldn't get nothing done around here. It was kind of stressful. So now I've finally built up enough videos to where sometimes I'm two or three weeks ahead. And that's been really helpful here on getting things done. I should have started doing this a long time ago. I've been on YouTube for almost eight years. It'll be eight years in October or November. October or November, I can't remember. We'll call it November. I think November was the first time I put a video out. Eight years ago, and if I'd done this schedule eight years ago, man, I would've got a lot more done around here. I wasn't even living here then, but you know what I mean. So, when you see videos in the future and they look like they're out of sequence or maybe it looks like it's a few weeks ahead of time for the last video, there's your reason why. But this one's actually in order. So in the last video, we opened up this cherry and got these 24 inch wide boards out of it. And man, they were nice. I ran out of daylight, that's why we quit sawing. We're gonna finish this up today because this is my last thing I need to get done, or one of the last things I need to get done before me and dad head to Ohio tomorrow. We should get about maybe a dozen or so more boards out of this. I'll probably flip the cant up when I start getting close to the juvenile core and saw off of a different face. But we should get, hang with me, we should get about Maybe, I don't know, that pith is pretty close right there. I'm gonna stay away from that pith. We should get about two more boards that are 24 inches wide. And that would give us, I think, six of those. That's really nice. Then we'll flip it up on its side and start grade sawing off the best face. Now, this is a customer log. I got some emails about a week ago when I showed this on Instagram. And I'll tell you guys about Instagram here in just a second. I got some uh, messages on there. People were saying how much for this lumber. This is not mine. I wish it was, but it's a customer log. He wouldn't sell it to me and I don't blame him. So speaking of Instagram and Facebook, uh, there's links down below to Facebook and Instagram. Here's what's going on over there. Instagram is more up to date. You guys will see what happens here, but Instagram's like a daily little story video that I do showing what's going on here most of the time. So if you wanna see what's going on, and some of the stuff on Instagram never make it to YouTube. I may show the chickens or, or George or somebody. George is our chihuahua, in case you're wondering. I may show some stuff that doesn't even pertain to sawmilling over there. So if you're on Instagram, be sure you're following me over there. And also on Facebook, there's a link down below also to Facebook. I put a lot of videos on Facebook, but a lot of those videos are really shortened versions of older videos. So they're really out of order when it comes to YouTube. But some of the videos I think are pretty neat, but they're fast. And the reason they're so fast is because Facebook audiences do not have any patience. If I put a 20 minute video over there, nobody watches it. They watch about 10 seconds of it and click off. If I do a three minute video and kind of summarize that video, it does a whole lot better. It'd get, you know, a couple of hundred thousand views. I get more views on Facebook Actually, I get three times the amount of views on Facebook than I do YouTube, actually. And I'm also on TikTok. There's a link down below to that. I don't post over there a whole lot. I do sometimes. But uh, if you're on TikTok, you can follow me over there as well. Most of the Instagram stuff and TikTok is pretty much the same thing. So, and the uh, YouTube shorts. If you see something on there that you think you've seen before, you probably have. Uh, YouTube is really pushing out these short videos because of people's attention spans. Not my audience, but other people. You guys are awesome. You like watching these longer videos. So I take a lot of my older videos and I, I'll make like maybe one or two shorts out of them and put them over there. Not that I enjoy making them, but I want to make YouTube happy because if you don't do what YouTube wants you to do, things don't go well for you. And they won't tell you that, but it's the truth. Every time they ask you to do something or change something, if you want to be successful on this platform, 
you better do it. So that's that. So on the sawmill, we got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. I just about fell over this hose. That would have been funny to see. If you want to try out those blades, call Joe. His cell phone number is in the video description. Anyways, let's get back to this cherry, friends. Nicest cherry I have ever sawed. I've been sawmilling since 2010. So it's 13 years if my math is right, and sometimes it's not. 13 years of sawing. I've never had a cherry this wide and this clear before. Very nice log. These, bo these boards, my goodness. <clears throat> I'm getting a sore throat here, guys. It's not good for me to have a sore throat before I go out of town for a speaking engagement either. These boards are extremely valuable. Really nice boards, guys. Y'all hang in there. We'll throw some water on some of these today.